Here's what you can see when you look at soy tempeh under the microscope. Tempeh is an Indonesian soy speciality fermented by the fungus Rhizopus oryzae. Tempeh is fairly easy to make yourself, from soybeans inoculated with spores and left to ferment for a day or two. You'll find links to recipes in the description. Fermentation usually takes place in banana leaves, or for me in Europe, in a plastic bag. Here's a piece of homemade tempeh. The mycelium is clearly visible to the naked eye, but we're going to study it much more closely and the microscope will reveal its secrets. To do this, we're going to grow Rhizopus oryzae mycelium on an agar medium. We'll start with powdered spores, which can be seen here in the form of a beige powder. Under sterile conditions, close to a flame, we'll deposit a very small quantity of spore on the culture medium. This will be quite sufficient. Then close the petri dish and wait for two or three days, if possible in a warm place at around 30 degrees Celsius. Here's what you can see. The mycelium has developed well. We'll start by observing it with a powerful magnifying glass. The mycelium filaments are clearly visible. And in some areas of the box, they end in gray balls containing the spores. We'll now move on to microscopic observation. I use the scotch tape technique to remove the mycelium without damaging the structure. Then I stain with cotton blue, a dye specific to fungal structures. I then place a slide over the specimen and begin observation. To achieve this observation, I'm equipping my microscope with an adapter that allows me to place a camera in place of an eyepiece. It's a very economical solution, costing just a few dozen euros, and it works very well. You can see mycelium filaments very clearly, including their internal structure. You can also see spores scattered all over the place, the dark balls seen with the magnifying glass are like fruits full of spores. Some are not yet ripe, while others have released their contents. You can even see the membrane that has torn. Hmm, tempeh really is delicious.